what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a ui challenge guys in this video let's attempt to recreate both of these screens okay this screens look similar in design to a previous ui challenge video that we made on this channel uh, anyway this is a good looking clean looking design right they have just used a couple of colors uh, one is the green and the other one is the white and uh, they have presented what uh, presented all the information in a rather neat way right so let's get started guys let's get started with the uh, screen on the left this font I was unable to get. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using another font. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and try to uh, recreate this entire screen. First, we'll get started with these two stuff over here and then we'll go in for this text. Okay. I have a blank application that I have scaffolded out here. So yeah, uh, it's... I just uh, created two, uh, an icon button and a container and we have placed that inside a row. Let's run this on a mobile device and see what happens. Alright guys, as you can see here we have the menu button and the small avocado image uh, like we have in our design spec, right? Next, this is nothing but a couple of lines of text and uh, there's another text here and then we'll deal with this list view. So I'll just pause the recording here and then finish, it, finish this off. Uh, now that this is done, let's just save this. All right, uh, now we have this text. I, I, I don't know what font this one is, guys. I think it's Futura, but I'm not sure. If you know what font this one is, kindly let me know in the comment section. Uh, now let's move on to this list view. Okay, this looks pretty much simple, right? We just uh, need to create, we'll create a function that will return us this cards. That will be a much simpler way. Right. Now, as you can see here, we have the list items, right? Just like we had in our uh, design spec. We have a couple of list items with a gradient background. And not only that, we have uh, the food uh, images on that as well as uh, we also have the uh, name of the food items with a small rating indicator at the bottom and the prices to the right of that particular uh, row. So now that we have uh, these two, let's go ahead and try to recreate this thing and the bottom navigation bar as well.
fine uh, now we have the bottom navigation bar as well as you can see on the mobile device just like we have on the design spec the next thing we need to do is uh, upon tapping one of these list items it should automatically take us to this second screen and not only that it should also uh, we'll also try to use a hero animation this plate will just you know look like it's flying over to the screen uh, and when uh, the user tries to navigate back it will automatically fly back to its position we'll try to uh, recreate that effect while uh, transitioning to the uh, other screen so we'll just go ahead and create a uh, other screen now All right, this is done as well. I haven't done anything fancy here, guys. I have simply uh, added those two lines of text and then I'm adding a container here, which will actually be an inkwell uh, with the text in the center that shows the total amount. Let's save this and see how this looks on the device as well. Wow, now we get the exact spec as given here, right? We get this nice looking screen now. And if we tap back, Cool, right? Now we have created these two uh, screens using Flutter and uh, it was pretty much easy, right? 
it wasn't that difficult since we have already gone through a lot of ui challenges uh, if uh, to be honest if you know how to play around with containers it makes building any ui much easier guys so yeah guys this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today uh, i hope you like this video guys if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of my uh, up uploads okay if you click on the bell notification icon you will receive a notification each and every time i upload a new video uh, and you can watch that video right so yeah uh, subscribe subscribe it's free and uh, click on the bell notification icon hit the thumbs up button and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye